Yeah, let's get back to what I'm supposed to be working on. Oh, yeah, we're working on this pile of crap. Damn, man. That's tight. What happened, Fred? That's tight. You didn't use a socket. No, I was going to use a socket, and it's tight. Oh. I'm going to use a breaker bar. Yeah, well, if you use this instead of the breaker bar, it works better. But Fred wants to do it all manually, okay. so okay, go for it. Well, everybody does it manually. Not Nobody has one of these things laying. Well, not nope. Most nobody people has don't have tools. this shit laying around. They don't have power tools? Well, no, a lot of people don't have air tools laying around their shop. They don't have what about a crushing wrench and a hammer? Everybody has that. And a cold chisel. Well, they might have it. They got a screwdriver, though. Let me save that. That's Fred's favorite part? No, we're not using that. You said you didn't want to dry primary, right? Junk box. Right over there. Did you see that bouncing? That's pretty good. Okay. Okay, here's our oil pump body. Look how dirty that is. Are we going to reuse this plastic gasket? Or are we going to... Uh, I think that can go. Pull that plug out before it gets too late. Too late, no? no. Did you loosen it already? Yeah, but you didn't unscrew it yet. You got the screwdriver. I got the gasket, though. I'm going to save this gasket for you, Fred, right over here. There. We'll find out later, I'm sure. Look at the weeds in here. You already loosened it. I did. You cheated. I cheated? Now, the pressure valve is still in there. Unless you use a screwdriver, you can't get to it. Well, we're going to take it loose anyway. Oh, look at it. It fell off. How'd that happen? Now, you had to get the key out before the whole thing would come out. There's a key on the end here that Fred just yanked and it came out. It did. Look. Right there it is. Look at that. There it is. Okay. So we're going to see the key goes in the bucket. Gear can go in that bucket or that bucket. Okay. What about all the gears in here? What about this plastic? We're gonna. I'll put this over with the other one so we'll yeah, keep it together. Cool. Well, look at these gears, man. They look good. They look good. They got, I can't tell with all that clean oil on there. Well, once we clean it up, I think you'll be impressed. I'll be impressed, huh? Impressed. If you keep dropping these keys out the wrong side. Now, where's the other key at? See, Fred? It's in there. Fred's not looking at everything as he takes it apart. He's just ripping and tearing. You're supposed to be inspecting as you go. How can I... You just... One minute you say it's too greasy and oily to inspect. The next minute you say, why aren't you inspecting as you go? That's right. You should be inspecting it as you go. So how's the body looking there? Is it nice and it's, crappy looking? It's only got... <laughs> now, before you keep dropping this thing on the floor, there's one ball bearing in here and one pressure valve in here that you will not do anything about. See the valve that came out? Now, remember I told you you need the screwdriver? Because there's a valve down in there. One so why don't you wipe your hands off in that rag underneath those tools. Yeah. See, that's when the rag goes in your pocket. It's, it's a, a religious rag. It's Easter, yeah. so this is holy, holy rag. Yeah, it's got a holy rag. It's holy Easter rag. <laughs> Okay. Oil on my rack it gives him a clue when we're working on look this. At the, look at the oil you're making. You're making a mess here, Fred. Look at that. It's terrible. This oil, it's, it's Easter. Look, he leaves all this crap there. He doesn't, he doesn't put anything away. He leaves just hardware everywhere. Seriously, the no. tools are all filthy. You didn't clean them yet. Now, did you get my medium screwdriver yet over there? It's that one over there. It looks kind of red. This one? Yeah, that's the one. And we're going to take this out. Okay, if you stick that inside there and twist on it. Twist. Twist, like that? Jam it. You have to jam it. Jam? You mean jam this or okay. jam? Well, yeah, I can't hold the camera to do that together. Well, my hands okay, are greasy. Hold that there. Hold the pump. Right. Now, jamming means you take the screwdriver and jam it like that sideways. So you shove it in, and you jam it, pull it out. Oh, Fred, right. can you let the thing come over here? Yeah. So I can get past the zip one. This one does not want to jam. Come out. Try a different screwdriver. Usually they just pop right out. This one here is not coming out. All right. Mm -hmm. So that one's not going to come out. It's all jammed up in there from grit and shit. Shit and grit? Yeah, shit and grit. So we're going to have to clean this out and try to get it out. And throw it in the big box. Because right now, if you look through that hole right there, there's a plunger in there. Yep. Throw okay. The big, box. the big boy bin. The, the big boy bin is over here. Yeah, so the big boy in the food box. All right, what's next? Okay. You got the key out? Got it. Yep. Got it. We can leave those with last. We need to pull this off yet. Hmm? You want to leave it in or out? Tap it, screen. Tap it, screen. Did you wipe your hands off yet? A couple of times. Yeah, I can they're full of oil and grease. That's the outside, not the inside. Why don't you wipe my tools off too while you're at it? 
the grease, the freaking rag has got more grease on it than I do. It does. It's a filter. Sure tap it screen. How clean is that? Pretty damn clean. Not too bad. In the bucket over there. This is a good one to get. Only six thousand miles. <laughs> That's what they claim. You only paid six hundred bucks for it. So you're all right. Yeah. It's not a 1980 either, it's a 1979. I told you it was a 79. Did I say 80? I, I said 80. 19, no, it's a 1979 80 cubic inch. Oh, it's an 80 cubic inch. Are you sure it's not a 74? No, it's 80. Because sure? it had a big 80 stuck on the side of the... Can my tool out there, sir? It had an 80. I need to replace this with something bigger. Half inch? Yes. Okay, you know how to use it? Yeah. You gotta wipe the oil off though right there. Some of you got oil all over that. Do you ever get the idea this guy's a bit anal about oil? I don't like oil on my tools. I don't care if we draw, I drop mine all the way. I don't care. But see, I always clean my tools after I'm done using them for a minute. That way my hands don't get full of oil. So what am I doing now? You throw in the bucket am I taking done. the case apart? Yes, we're gonna take some hardware off. Now you might need that half inch wrench over there. I know that. That's why I had it there. There you go. It's got a nice smell to it, doesn't it? I know I'm in the line of fire, so when you sling it out and hits me, it's nice. No, they go over here, Fred. <laughs> Bullshit should slow it out. <clears throat> really? Except it doesn't. <laughs> I don't think so. They look a little crusty down here. Yeah. Ooh, came right out. Right in the oil. Good job. Did I tell you to come work here for fun? Mm -hmm. Not abuse? You're not having fun? Well, I have fun, but I get abused simultaneously. Well, there's no extra charge for the abuse. I already took that one out. You took that one out already? Well, what I about the one over there? Did you take that one out yet? No, yeah, not the one on that one. The bottom one. You want to turn it sideways? It's been apart. There you go. Sweet. That one actually wants to pop right out. Look at yeah. that. Lost that washer right there. Look at that. Sweet. Yeah, it works better when you put the socket on it. As I said before, I can be a fucking. Am I abusing you again? <laughs> I get it everywhere. I was trying to help, Fred. I was trying to help. Everywhere. Everyone wants I was, to. I was trying to help. Everybody's a comedian. Okay. Now we need two tools, and I only got one of them here. You need a hammer, right? Uh, plastic hammer's over there in the pile. I'll get that because my hand's clean. We're going to need the uh, drift punch, 516 drift punch, which is in the top drawer on the toolbox over there. The long one? On the right side. The long one? Yeah, the, that's called a drift punch. It's long. Because we have to get these studs out of here before we can take it apart. It appears that Fred's making a mess here. All right, so we're going to move this over here. He left his rag here too, if you notice. Oh, look at his missing socket under the rag. Okay. There might be a little bit of oil mess here coming up. All right, we're gonna put the camera up here so that we can do some more filming. You got the drift punch? I do. You get the right one? I got that one. Ooh, that would be a drift punch. See how long it is? It's 516, so you got the right one. I of course it pretty good. I'm shocked. I, was, I need a steel hammer now. That was only a... Yeah, these rags are pain in the ass here. I it for lots of years. These rags are pain. I'm trying to keep everything super clean. Like... Hey, hold up. Water coming out of there. No water coming out. What's that, Fred? That's water. That's water. That's agua. That's water. That Do you want this one out there? Okay. Oh, there's water there. I took my bucket over. It's rusty. You got one there. You have to flip it over, Fred. Hey, flip it over. Beat it out this way? No. No? There. Fred, the tile's almost gone now. 
But it's all nasty anyhow. Why would we even got it underneath there? And then there's one more that I didn't do. Which one did you do, Fred? I didn't do one that just doesn't go all the way Which through. Which one did you do, Fred? I didn't do this one that doesn't go all the way through. There's two bolts about. left. Are those, is that the one yeah. you're talking about? There's one there. You mean the two bolts are the one that you're talking about leaving one left in there? There's okay. actually two we missed, but... Oh, well, there's one there and there's one there. That's right. Why you got it going this way? Why don't you turn it around so I can see Because I want to be able to heat it, hit it with a big hammer and knock it free. Air. So here's a hammer. Air. You have a soft side and a hard Air. side. So you take it and you beat the hell out of it. Hang on, I ain't done yet. I gotta get those two out. Oh, you can pull the last two bolts out? Because I'm tired. Tired. Now after you get all the other studs out, you pull the last two bolts out. That was tight. Ooh, nasty. Is that full of water too? I think it's... I have some issues. That is some nice gooey stuff in there. Just as well, I came in to break the Okay, case. the last two out now? That seems to be. Okay, now what you do is you want to hit it right between the water mouth right here. You see Free that? It. Crack the case! I cr oh shit, there's a crack in it. Crack the case. Split the case. Whoa! Look at that nice clean oil coming out of there. Sweet. It's got red on it. Look at that. I think that is some indication that it's been worked on. That's probably factory. It is. Really? No shit? It's Sorry, also, no shoot? It's also externally balanced, so it's spun balanced and not static balanced. I need a red screwdriver. Spun. Spun. Some, some kind of a screwdriver, small one or a big one. Why are you throwing it in, back in the bucket, man? We I was done with it earlier. Yeah, I'm going to pull this bearing out. Spin it. Spin it, baby. Make me write a bad check. <laughs> Technically, I didn't ask to do this, but I'm happy doing it. Split the cases, take it apart. Here we go. Stripping her down the parade rest, as we would say. Which I'd set on another film, by the way. Yeah. 49 is like. Is this All I wanted to do was replace the fender, but now we got it done at parade wrist. Are you saying this is similar to the 49 panhead build? Uh, so you pull the snap ring off and the so. uh, parts will come I out. I think I, this is a good choice, though. Because okay, is this thing done draining on the floor over here? Uh, on the rag. It's on the rag? <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> it appears that the same oil is everywhere throughout this motor. Nice and clean. Black and gooey. Not as bad as uh, a Rastafarian dude. Now, this is really nice and clean here. And it's not as bad as the uh, the Indian. Can you put that one that again? The Indian stuff looked like uh, it had like chunko in it. <laughs> it came out green. The Indian had chunko in it. Can we okay. throw that? In the it looks like the uh, race might be usable in there. We'll find out. All right. So now we got to take that apart. Pull the bearings off, right? Got it. Bearings are coming out and into the. Oh, let's stick some oil on it. Bearing How's the shaft look? Shaft. It's very shafty. The shaft looks shafted. You gonna take this off? Huh? No. Why are you using a clean rag? Yeah. See, so we give these nice absorbent towels to use, and he still wants to use rags. This rag, look at this rag, it's like, it's, it's a holy rag. <laughs> look at all Rags there. cost money around here, we use towels. All right. Yeah. Now what? Now we turn around. Then what? Pop that bad boy out. How do we pop it? You're gonna hit it with a hammer. I am? With a, with a what kind of hammer? A, not the uh, plastic hammer. So you think the tempered bearing is going to come out just by hitting with a hammer? Mm, probably not. If it does, it's not a very good tempered bearing. So what are we going to do? Press it out? Well, the first thing you do is you're going to clean up all the sockets over there. Hey, this is a clean rag. It's still holy because it's a holy day. 
That'll be a new rag. But I'm gonna use this one over here. Are you gonna be happy? There's around? nothing new around here. Yeah, I'm gonna use this nice new rag that's blue one full there? of silicone here. I'll use this one. Why don't you use the blue one? The blue ones. The blue ones are old and used. Okay, so there's Fred over there. He's he's pretending to wipe tools off somewhere. Look at that, way okay. back there in the background. Okay, I need a, a zip gun. Here's the zip. Got a socket. Oh, hang on. You're going for something different. Ah. This is so entertaining. See, I purposely brought all the tools I needed except for the drill punch because I forgot about the that part. So did we tell you this was an 80 cubic inch? So we have some big sockets. We have a big zip gun. Okay. And we have a big steel hammer. A big zip gun. What are we doing? We're working. I'm going to split the case. We're in two. Your hands playing yet? Here. Do you know how to use that tool? Yeah. Do sure you know how to use a tool? Why do they have no lock on this thing? Do you know how to use that tool? Yes. Oh, he does know how to use it. What? What did you, you say? Calm down there. You're going to shoot across this whole room. You're supposed to gingerly use a tool, not just turn it wide open and forget about it. Huh? What did you say? <laughs> now, this is, now called, a, hit it with this a is called a hammer. <laughs> this is about a we two pounder. A BFH. Big freaking hammer. Two and a half pounder, I think. BFH. Yeah, it might be two and a half. It's, it's, uh, it's big. It's the BFH. Now the crank pin's right here. You don't hit on the crank pin, you hit on the 180 from the crank pin. Ooh, that didn't work. Is it still tight? No. Yeah. It didn't, it didn't do the job didn't yet? Do it. Okay. Uh oh. It's in there good. You gotta do it one more time. Okay, now we go over here and do it this way. Right. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, see, the pair's loose now. Did you see that Loctite on there? It was glued good. Don't wipe it, don't wipe it. Wipe it. See that Loctite on that shaft? See they use Loctite on there. Why do they use Loctite? Because they didn't use any lock nuts. They just used Loctite. Okay, pull that key out right there. That's what those uh, wiring little things are used uh, for. Pair of dikes. These are not dikes, those are collar key, or I mean, uh, key removers. Perfect. We got plenty of those. Okay, now you have to pull the rod off or pull that off. What do you want to work on next? Pull that next. Pull the shaft off. Pull the shaft off on that one? Yeah. Okay. This is a different socket. That's a different socket. Right, put it back down here. Smaller. Ooh, that's the right one. Oh, he, it was, let me guess, it was the other one that was sitting there on the bench, right? Yes. Okay, nice and gently. Gently. Yeah, sorry. See, that's not called Gently. a little torque. This is not a Harbor Freight tool. Gently. Okay. This Clean is this a 25-year-old Ingerson round tool that I, I take very good care of by not dropping it, getting solvent on it, or beating on it at all. Okay. So now we have this. Now, do you want to screw up the shaft? Do you want me to do it? Go ahead. Here's the hammer. Now, the way this works is, you got to put it where you can see. There we go. There, now I can see. We have to hit the end of the shaft, but we got to hit it flat, like that. If you hit it like this at an angle, you'll, you'll screw it up. So make sure you do it right. Okay. You get your hands clean. I get my hands clean because I don't want to get any grease on your two and a half pound. Yeah, I recommend that you hold it straight. That way you can hold that straight. Hold the shaft, not the flywheel, and hit it square. Okay, that's it. Stop. Mm -hmm. Okay, that did not come out, so we stop. We will use the hydraulic press to remove that one. Perfect. It appears that it has Loctite on that one. Next step is remove. Now we're going to move that, and there's going to be a little bit of stuff falling. No. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Got it. Now we got all in his hands. Yeah. See, all of those go in that bucket right over there. Really? Yeah. Is that what I'm going to do? You can look at the rollers, too, if you want, see if they're any good. I suspect. They're probably in good shape. Yeah, but most likely I'm not. I'm not going to use them. What? Why not? Because I don't like using old rollers. Why did you put your hand right in front of the bucket as I threw it over there? Yeah, but so. so when we look at this, yes, is it pitted and chunky out yet? No. Okay. It's freaking new, dude. 
It's, it's brand new. Look at it. It's, it's like new. almost new. Almost new. Fred says Barely new. broke in. Okay, now your hands are oily. Can I use the rag? Yes, you got to use the rag. Now we're going to take that one off. We're right. going to attempt to take that off, but most likely it's not going to come off. That's not big enough. That's not big, big enough. One? No. Oh, it must be that big, big one there. It's probably that one right over there, I bet. The other one that was brought out. Hey, it fits. It fits. Imagine <laughs> that. Now, that try used... that. Now, if it comes off, good. If it doesn't come off, which is most likely it won't, because that doesn't... Damn, that's heavy. I like how he breaks my tools. Most likely it's not going to come unscrewed. Ready? Yeah, hit it. You have to hold things. See, nuts are going across the fan. I, hey, my bus. The thread's got the, the threads got screwed up from the zip gun hitting on it, probably the socket. No. It's chewing up my socket. That's custom made over here. See how this is custom made? It's all cut. So it sits down inside the floor. Damn thing on the kind. That oily again. Now that should not have come off. So that means it was not up to snuff on torque. Because yeah. if that was torqued correctly, that would not have come off. Okay. Okay, now we're going to beat on that flywheel with a big hammer and see if we can pop it free. Which is most likely not going to happen. But maybe we'll look out. If the stuff is loose, it'll come off, but if it's tight, it won't. I like that little small rag. I thought it was going to leave like uh, three hours ago. At least one hour ago, maybe more. Is this going to come off? No. Now, if you beat it like this, is it just jams a thing in the table over there? Get a hold of the wood. It came off. That's why using a big hammer and steel, you want the shock to pop the taper. Hitting with lead isn't as good as steel. Okay, now you can pull the nut off that one. Your hands are oily. I'm, look, I'm trying to get my oil off. You see that? I tried to take, get, get the oil off so I don't get any grease on it. Yeah, that's right, no grease. Grease gun, I mean a zip gun. That is all not good, that is all not good. Okay, gently, gently remove. The next nut, which is this one. I try not to shoot across the room again. See that? Can you see it? Oh, gently. You're getting better. Gently remove. Get that one. Yeah, there's more Loctite on that one. And you probably bent it. I bent it? Bent it. Look at that thread, it's all mushroomed over. Oh, it's not? I can hit it again if you want. No, that's fine. Okay, so where are we at now? Now we're going to see if that bearing will come out. We're going to... You mean this one? Yes. Okay. First, I'm going to look at this flower wheel and see what else is wrong with it. It has two big holes. That's good. Good thing there's only one tiny mark because it has been drilled through. Oh, they did it the wrong side. Yeah. It appears to be in pretty good condition. You see, it's not worn out yet. Small amount of miles on it. Small amount? Okay, flip the case over. Flip the case over. I'm getting more old, it dump out. That's one reason why you flip it. Now you gotta push on that shaft a little bit to shove it down. Maybe something a little more pressure than that. Doesn't work. Okay. There we go. It's going down. That's it. Uh oh, it fell out. I like hitting stuff with big hammers. Hammer me, baby. Now see what he when he tore that nut up right there. See how it screwed that thread up right there? Oh, it didn't. Did it? Oh, it did. Look at this one there, this one there, this one oh, there, one fun. there. One over here. 
So he has all kinds of them now because when that socket was spinning around about, what, 8 million RPM. Hey! It was bouncing around against the threads right here and screwing the shaft up. Too tired, man. I'm exhausted. <clears throat> That's why you have to control your tools. I'm exhausted. Not just let them run wild like some people do around here. Yeah. I'm a wild man. Don't do that. It's dangerous. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we got a last thing to pull out. We get this steel race out over here. Mm -hmm. um, you take the socket that you're trying to throw away right there yeah. and lay it on there. And hit it with a hammer, preferably something that's not very hard. And you have to hook it up off top table there a little bit. Hey, you broke that, didn't you? you? Broke something. It came out. The race. This piece here. Yeah, the race. It appears that it might be a still use. What about the bear? It's not got a big groove in it yet, and it wasn't loose and chewing up this surface here either. And what about the bearing? The bearing? No, I don't know yet. So now we have this case cleaned, taken out. Look at the nice clean oil in there. Nice pristine condition. Prustine? Crustine? Prostrated. Yeah, it's prostrated. It appears the race has not been loose in here either. Because it only has 6,000 freaking miles. Yeah, but it can still be bad. <laughs> I know, but it doesn't. Oh, yeah. That guy should have bought it for 45, man. He should have, he would have had a yeah, deal. Now we're going to take this over the hydraulic press and knock out this pinion shaft by pushing on it with a few tons of pressure. You don't want to clean it up a little bit? And then we'll, uh, we'll be back. You want to get the oil off of it?